Hello everyone, as you can see we have some creatures in front of us from Galaxy's Edge and what I thought I would do today was show off uh, the latest haul from Galaxy's Edge, uh, most of which are from the creature stall. Uh, one of these, th this this little guy over here is uh, my, actually my daughter's and then uh, I got this guy over here for myself and then also for myself I got some dice for the Mustang. Uh, so anyways, um, yeah. So let's talk about this a little bit. This is going to be the last week that annual pass holders will be able to receive the 30% discount at Walt Disney World. Uh, so that is why I went ahead and splurged a little bit more than normally would have. Uh, that being said, my daughter actually did buy this herself. Uh, so I can't really complain on that note. Uh, so uh, first thing, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the dice. Uh, you guys probably look familiar here. Uh, and there were $14.99 minus the 30%. I couldn't normally justify it, but I w I've been really wanting these uh, to hang on the rear view. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> with the 30% off, I thought I'd go ahead and do it. Uh, and the main reason behind that is I was uh, actually going on Amazon, taking a look at the pricing, and most of the the knockoffs were pretty close to that price and they got horrible reviews. Now, I have no idea what kind of quality these are going to be or how well they're going to hold up, uh, but typically the Disney stuff holds up pretty well. So I thought I'd give it a try. So we got our dice. I think they're pretty cool. Anyways, uh, and then for me, we'll go ahead and put this guy aside just for a moment. Uh, I, I actually picked up a... Minoc. I don't know if you've seen one of these Minocs before. Um, <clears throat> one of the cool things is that uh, at the creature stall, basically whatever, uh, any of the animals that you pick up there, you get a, a crate to take home in. Uh, so even somebody as little as this, uh, you will get the uh, the crate. And he was 30% off. Uh, so as far as what he actually does is he's got this um, <clears throat> sticker here. So that way basically you can suction cup them to uh, any any flat surface. Uh, it's probably not going to do too well on the the wood here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, but I've got some metal hanging on in my office that I thought would look pretty good there. As far as what he does, basically his wings will flap. So I think he's pretty cool. Um, I didn't get one that had the perfectly flat wing. I didn't think that would make sense. Uh, so uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and see real quick what it's got here. Uh, its name is a Minoc. Its type, it's a vacuum breather. The home planet, planet is Ord Minoc. Uh, the diet is electricity or energy. Um, it does take some batteries um, and it talks about uh, how to replace it. And it, the information here, it says, Minox chew on wires of spaceships to consume electricity. It has been said that Minox will feed on so much energy that they get spark drunk. Interesting. Uh, so unlike uh, my wife's loath cat, uh, it doesn't give you directions as to what to do, but it kind of makes sense as to what you need to do here. And I, I like the fact that it makes all the sort, sorts of different noises pretty cool. I like those eyes too. I hope you can see those eyes pretty well. So pretty cool. Uh, so that's the Minoc. Uh, and this, this one is mine and it'll go up in the office. I thought it would go really well. And then put this aside, bring up my daughter's creature here. Looks like she fell down. And of course we have a Bantha. Uh, there's the eyes. It's pretty good size here. Um, let's see, it's got the, oh, I think she turned it off. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on here. Uh, she actually did warn me that she turned it off. Uh, let's see, where's the, there we go. Turn it on. 
And the Minoc is making noise in the background there. I don't know if you can hear that. And both of these will continue to make noise after you turn them off. And that's the only noise that it really makes. It's got these crazy lips. And then the eyes, and then the horns. I should say she. I'm supposed to make sure I said she. Uh, and then as far as what it says here, <coughs> it says the name is a bantha, the type is a mammal, the home planet of Tatooine, and diet, it's a herbivore. Let's see. And then the information here, it says the bantha provides vital transportation on arid worlds, and they are primarily ridden by Tusken Raiders. All right. So it says 39 bucks there, but remember we got the 30% off, so it's not too bad. So, uh, yeah, so if you have any questions about any of these these creatures here, feel, please feel free to ask down below or and also give it a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, one thing I forgot to say uh, is that if you are not able to get into Galaxy's Edge but still want to purchase, like, creatures or maybe one of those legacy lightsabers... Uh, we actually had lunch at downtown Disney, a late lunch and, uh, or I should say Disney Springs, <laughs> old habit. Uh, but they, at the, the trading outpost, the, the Star Wars trading outpost, they actually had all of these <laughs> available. Uh, so we, we actually waited probably about 20 minutes to get into, uh, see the creatures and the other shops within Batu, And we could have just walked right in. There was no wait to get into the store. <laughs> um, so, and same thing. Um, I believe the wait time for the legacy lightsabers were about an hour, whereas there was maybe one person ahead of you, uh, at the trading outpost. So just a heads up on that. Uh, so again, uh, the, the Bantha here is making noise again. Uh, she was only, she was 40 bucks minus the, uh, 30%. Then we've got our Minoc here. He was 25 bucks and then we've got our pair of dice that was 15. So if you, if you have questions about any of these guys, uh, feel free to ask down below, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that are Star Wars related, especially going to bed to, uh, bringing back our halls, uh, going to, uh, other theme parks as well. And, uh, we do a lot of things that are Star Wars related, but we do other things on the channel as well. Things that a professional geek might find interesting. Uh, so yes, definitely Star Wars, but other things as well, like video games, Oculus 2, the new Xbox is coming out, uh, home automation and all sorts of other things. So if any of that interests you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And with that, have a great day.